Um, this project is important to me, and I, I feel that it's important to other people because sight is something we take for granted. Just imagine not being able to see for your entire life. I mean, try walking around for 15 minutes with your eyes completely closed and just giving that gift back to somebody. I, I think that's the real connection. It's something that we just take for granted and that is such a gift that we have and we, we're able to give that to other people. And that's why we're coming to Tipping Bucket. My name is Ryan Fairchild. I'm a country director for Help International. I'm going to be with my wife actually leading a team of volunteers over to Uganda. There are huge problems with eye health in Uganda, specifically with cataracts. Cataracts will develop um, in large part because of interior smoke and exposure to the sun. And what this does is it develops a block in the eye so that people can't see. And it can be debilitating, but it can be solved with a very simple surgery. However, in rural areas, people just don't have access to to the surgeons or the equipment and so they live with this condition that makes them unable to see and it makes it very difficult to sustain life. And so the objective of the eye camp is to provide a means for those people to access these surgeries um, and it really changes the way that they can live their lives. So What we want to do is partner with Deseret Foundation who provides trainings and supplies to doctors and then in turn requires that those doctors go out and do pro bono or free service in the community. So we take a team of eye specialists and screeners out into local villages and um, through advertising and through working with their local village committees we draw in all the people that think that they have eye conditions and we screen them, we isolate the ones that are in the most need of our help and then we will transport those people to the hospital in the capital city and treat them for their conditions. And we'll provide a connection to those communities so that once we leave they can keep doing this. Last year at our eye camp, uh, one man had been blind for 10 years. For 10 years and after the surgery he said, I can see again. And, and he was just overjoyed that he could and he looked around at the children near him pointed to one guy and said, you're a guy, and pointed to this woman and said, you're a girl. This is changing everything about how he lived his life. They had people coming in who had homemade glasses, who, who had never had a real pair of eyeglasses before, and were just able to help so many of these people and provide medications to a bunch more. We are raising money in order to help facilitate that process and make sure that people just have access to the things that they need to improve their lives.